Hi, this is Toad for the Andromeda Council. Today is Thursday, July 21st, 2016. I'm honored to have with me Yvonne Palermo, who's the guest and radio show host of Groovy Bean Radio. The last time she and I spoke, I was a guest of hers, and we had a fantastic conversation. And moreover, everybody that contacted me regarding that conversation had rave reviews for Yvonne and her positive energy throughout the show. So thank you, Yvonne. Um, we're here today because Yvonne is going to be one of the official guest speakers for the 2016 Transformational Shift Conference to be held in October, the weekend of 21st through 23rd. And I've asked Yvonne to spend a few minutes with me to share with us some of the high points from her uh, from her presentation. Yvonne, thanks for joining me. Hi, Tolek. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Thanks, yeah. thanks for taking some time with me. Of course. So, yes, I'm very excited about October. And uh, let me tell you, folks, a little bit here. Uh, there, there is a depth of darkness that most folks are blind to see. And this darkness will envelope your being at birth as it enters the 3D realm. And our energy source acts as a food and our, our three-dimensional bodies are basically a hunk of clay to be molded by society. And one, one will slip into a zombie state. And this is, which, this is what is the darkness of not being. Uh, Tolek and folks tuning in here, I, I have had an interesting childhood through the process of growing up and through many countless traumas, and specifically one major traumatic brain injury in 2011 engaged my being to break through the matrix, the veil, the facade of what we call life here on earth. So what I'm here to tell you, and especially at the conference this October, I'm here to tell you that we are infinite energy. We are a source of wholeness. We are love and we are change. Uh, I have experienced transformation from dark depth to the brightest light, and I'm here to activate you. Uh, I, I, I feel and I know that I'm reborn anew and I'm here to experience this growth in a new day. And I hope to experience this with each person that comes to this conference. I, I know for me that we are beings of light and I feel that our society as a whole has much, much, much ego baggage to eradicate. Mm. And I feel uh, it, is, it is time it is time now that we restitch together the fragmented lives, lives and lights, the beings. So it's time to stitch us back together and form our infinite bond again. Because we do have this bond, folks. It's a magical bond. And there are forces that don't want us to do this. So after all of the darkness and finding the light, you figure out just who you are without your story. And I think that's a key thing to like that folks mm -hmm. start asking themselves, who are you without yes. your story? Well, can and, you, Yvonne, mm -hmm. can you say those words a little differently? When you say without your story, mm -hmm. can you use some different words to describe what that means? Sure. Who, so you have to go within, you have to look within your being to navigate who, who it is that you are, like for me, I know that I'm a light being, a light source. And I know that the story of my life prior to my TBI, I call this old Yvonne Tolek. Okay, <laughs> all that sure. ego, all this ego stuff, all the, the stuff that um, society has brainwashed you to believe. Your house, your car, your bills, you know, uh, oh, okay. work. Work by consume die right. So the so the the the, your, the word your story, if I can use different words, would be mm -hmm. kind of like, 
who is the facade that you've wrapped around the actual core of who you truly are. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So your story, so we each have a story. You have a, you know, uh, we all have our stories of our, I want to say 3D realm self. Sure. Our, our, our baggage, but who don't, don't let this story or facade define you. You have to go deep within. Yes. And and that process, that process of going within is not easy for some, but there because of the the whether it's trauma, whether it's whatever parts of your story. We all have parts that are not so great, but in order to get there, in order to get within, you have to go through this darkness. Yes, some of the uh, some mm-hmm. of the spiritual masters on this mm. planet today call this process um, reaching the dark night of the soul. They get to each mm-hmm. person gets to a place where they kind of parenthetically bottom out, mm-hmm. and there's an opportunity there to make a decision. It's like, okay, what do I do now? And that's a yes. real that's a real opportunity to figure out who you are at your core. What are your unique gifts? Yes. Absolutely. And yes, yeah, so that, that I've, I've said, I, you, you have to go through the dark to get to the light. And I have experienced that myself. And I wanted to read a quote, actually. I'm doing it, Tolek. Yeah, Victoria I know. Erickson. All right, here we go. Okay. I love this quote. We arrive into this world as energy, same as stars wildlife, wind, and ocean, messy, raw, and continuously perfect in our chaos. Release the need to control and instead surrender to your own natural rhythm as expansive, accepting, and open to new circumstances and situations as air itself. That is how you will thrive. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Yeah, I, I understand the uh, not only the value, but the impact of a number of those words in my Absolutely. own life. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. And... Um, will you be touching on some of the aspects of what you actually experienced during your, during the, the what people would ubiquitously call like the, the near-death experience yes. where you're out of your body? Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to I'm going to explain to you there there's a bit of history about me. I don't think even you know Tolik from old Ivan okay. to this to my experience with near death experience with a traumatic brain injury. I'm going to tell you what my dimensional body here on earth went through and what my what it is how do I define a light being? Who is this light being? Where did this light being come from? And what did that feel like to leave my body? This meat bag, as I call it. (laughs) So, yeah, yeah, because I'm telling you, uh, we are magnificent sources of energy, and it's phenomenal. And I, I... Oh, I just, I, I wish everybody could feel the serenity of being outside into the universe, being one with the universe. So that is definitely what I will be talking about. That's and the transformation, this transformation from the dark to the light. Absolutely. And it's, mm-hmm. I, I, your story will be unique as will everyone's, but um, the, the, the process that you've been through and essentially the new person that you are today is I'm sure an experience that people will be uh, fascinated to listen to and fascinated to learn about. So thank you for, for sharing some of the aspects of that experience. And I think your story is also very timely for this Mm -hmm. transformational shift conference. I think the timing is perfect. Oh, well, so th- thanks. Th- thanks for being a guest. I really appreciate you're it. You're very welcome. So very thank, thank, so thankful again, and to be a part of this conference and share any assistance towards change. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. 
So Ivan Palermo will be speaking uh, at the conference. And uh, for any of those of you who might be interested, you can learn about this conference at the uh, transformationalshiftevents.com website and just click on the conferences and events button and you'll learn all about the conference and the speakers and there's actually a, a PDF file there for the, uh, the schedule of who's speaking when. Yvonne, thanks again. I appreciate your, uh, your feedback and sharing with the people some of the, the highlights of your, your talk. You're very welcome. Thank you, Tolik. Take care.